First of all, first name JC on, last name Ditto. JC on Ditto, and I'm back at it again with another video. I haven't done that in a long, 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 long time. Um, I need to stop coming up here and just getting on with the video. If you ever noticed, like, this is one of the reasons why I don't like to stare at you guys when I'm recording because I have a very bad insecurity when it comes to my left eye. I think I'm, um, um, what you call that word? <laughs> I forgot. Not cockeyed. Um, I have a lazy eye, so it tends to wander around and I hate it. And it's actually a huge insecurity of mine, which is why I don't like to talk directly in the camera, okay? So, this is just a breakdown to you guys. Um, mostly about like the gym, me being in the gym, me coming into a gym, me being around in the gym now, like completely comfortable. Like, I don't have to worry about anything. I don't have to, like, I'm literally in a, basically in the locker room. Um, I remember talking to you guys about me packing now. I do pack now and I will show you guys why I pack um, ever since I got uh, surgery. It's been like everybody, men, women, people, human beings just stare at my crotch a lot, like my crotch area. So I try my best to now have like, um, uh, give me a second, to now have like a, a packer because honestly it's uncomfortable to have people just stare and you know not have anything for them to look at so if you notice in a lot of my videos now i will be packing um but yeah this is where i'm at now coming back from um, miami uh i gained some weight i put on a little bit of weight on my stomach area as well which actually looks okay it's not as bad as i thought it would be uh yeah i'm pretty happy about it all right you guys so this is just another quick video just to show you guys my frame as a whole what it looks like um i'm gonna show you guys that i can make my pecs jump still they um have no issues at all my abs are you know intact everything is great like as far as my body goes everything is great um my hemo i can squeeze my pecs without an issue i can flex without an issue my nipple placement from, to me is great everything is good my scars only show when i lift my arms up and that's the side i had my hematoma which was my complication so i'm i'm honestly fine with my scars as well they're going away. I'm probably going to tattoo. So either way, I'm ecstatic about my results and how everything looks. Now, before I go on to the next side of this video, I just want to show you guys how to use the restroom as a trans man. Because a lot of people have been asking me about this. So when you're in the locker room, you'll have the urinals, which are right here, which is hard for a trans man to pee in if you don't have an STP. Then you will have the stalls, which is where you will want to, you know, use the restroom. Um, now, the thing about male stalls are different from female stalls because when you stand up, all the stalls are facing the same way, right? Correct? So, if you're taking a shit, you will face that way which and squat, which 
most men will do but if you're taking a piss you will stand that way with your feet facing that way so you don't want anybody to think that you're doing something else now because male stalls usually have a bigger slit on the doors i usually just use toilet paper cover it up so that you know you're safe to do whatever you have to do because you do have creeps who tend to stare at those when they wash their hands so called and just stare through that hole to see what you're doing whether it's taking a shit peeing or whatever it is and men as a whole just do it so now you can handle your business without a problem without you know anybody watching you do whatever it is you're doing so you can still squat if you want to but i can also show you another technique so that way you just look like you're peeing regularly without a problem now what you want to try and do is to not have your back you want to push your your pelvis more forward and what you want to also do make sure you just drop your pants shorts whatever it is you're wearing a little bit lower so that you don't make a mess and then just stand right above it and then if you have your pelvis pushed forward you just push as hard as you can and then you, your pee just comes out and it's that simple um like i was saying um the lightings might be a little different because now i'm standing somewhere else inside of the locker room um, it's probably about 10 30 at night so I can have these conversations with you guys for a little bit um, but like I said I'm on a whole different type of time by the way if you're a, um, if you're from New York and you're a videographer or a photographer or an upcoming photographer or an upcoming videographer anything upcoming and um, sorry and you want to shoot a few videos with someone please 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 reach out to me um via dm on my uh instagram uh that's jay you guys should already know my instagram is gonna be the link in the bio but if you are please reach out to me because i am trying to create better content create more content like I'm not used to this YouTube thing. I've been doing it for what, two years and a half, almost three years. But I'm, I like, I'm not like up there as far as con content creations. Like, I need someone to follow me around sometimes, because honestly speaking, sometimes if I'm just living the moment, I, you know, I don't be wanting to record it. If I'm being very honest, like I just be wanting to do what I gotta do. And go about my business like i don't be having time to record or just you know like certain positions certain areas you just can't always record and you guys who follow me on instagram know i am shy as hell i'm very very shy so it's very hard for me also to um put myself in the camera versus someone else recording me and me just going with them. so yeah um i put my mask on because there's a lot of people around me now and then I'm also leaving the gym. Um, but yeah, like I was saying to y'all, I'd rather have somebody in front of me, you know, just recording and I just do what I do. And you know, the camera's on me, but whatever. You feel me? Like, I don't want to have to always deal with the extra stuff. So yeah, if you are a videographer or a photographer or um, someone that can work with my schedule, you know, we'll figure out, you know, uh, money wise payments and all that other stuff like you know for always you just you know up and coming and want to do me a favor or whatever you know you work with me i work with you however whatever we'll figure it out um just let me know and we can get that going but yeah like i'm gonna try to get y'all you know in more more videos on not just like vlogs or whatnot thank you but you know the whole nine i'm about to get food actually um it's a little dark outside and i don't have my light with me so i'm gonna cut the video short i will talk to you guys i look like a black ball i will talk to you guys on another day oh i want to make sure i don't forget nothing all right matter of fact let me go on this side